All right, so we're back here. I uh, got all the grass mowed, windrowed. Uh, we even did up some hay uh, and all belled and everything here. So thought, well, since I got them all made, I know we're we're a little low on on the feed and everything for the um, cows. So we might as well just put a bunch in there right now and get it done with, get us all caught up. And then that, they should be good for a while, I think, after that. So, but we'll get. I'm going to get this all done up. I already did the um, grass and moved that in. Uh, pretty much fed. I think all but one bell went to to the cows. So we'll, I've just got the hay now I'm picking up. And uh, I'll get that all picked up and then might as well feed that. I'll feed them a bunch of it too. So um, I could just check here. Let's take a look at where we're at with everything. So even with all those grass bells I gave, um, 55,000 still not in the green but at least we're not in the red anymore so i think after this hay once if i give them all these bells that i've just made uh we'll we'll be out of the red also so that'll be good then they'll keep them up um production i need to get a bucket so i can clean up after the clean up after them and, and that'll get my production back up to 100 percent. but right now it's kind of a little low uh mixed ration um again once we can afford a mixer we will we'll get on to that Everything else, I think, I'm not too worried about right now. We're all in the orange, so we're not. Nothing's in the red. Uh, cleanliness just needs to get fixed um, on this on this up here. So um, only 28 of these, though, ahead of those. Um, just going back to our milk we were talking about earlier. We got 4,400 liters right now. Um, I believe our our current uh, tanker will hold like 8,700 or something to that effect. So I'm not too worried. Actually, I think a day if we just, we're selling it every day. Um, that little tanker probably is going to be good enough with 28 head of cattle. So uh, if we get more than that, we may uh, either may have to make two trips to sell it or we will have to um, buy a bigger tanker and, and to make the one trip. But we haven't been there and done that yet, so we will find out. $1,300 per liter right now, so that's not too bad. That's that's not a bad uh, intake for, for one day. So I think as we build our cattle, if, if we were selling you know, 10,000 liters, that's not bad, 13,000 pounds we'll make back on that, or if we can get more even, of course, more the better. So um, looking at egg prices right now, that actually looks like something we should maybe look into uh, is getting some eggs for their, uh, the family to look after. Uh, that would be fun for my for my three-year-old also to to enjoy the, the chickens. So um, what else we got on here? Uh Nothing major. I think, like I was saying, that BGA, I, we really want to get invested into that because I think that'll open up a whole other uh, price realm for us for, for silage. Um, not too worried about anything else. Right now, uh, manure we could sell. It's not a whole lot. Um, and I think once we have the BGA, we'll be able to, we might be able to sell some other things there also. So um, As we get other fields too, we'll probably get into more uh, thing. Um, cereal crops uh then we'll also be able to, to bail our own straw and that'll be nice so we don't have to buy straw for their for our cattle so but i'm gonna get back to feeding our unloading these uh hay bales back to there and uh to the cattle so i'll get that job done and and we'll see what else is next here but we should be getting pretty close to lunch All right, guys, I'm just going to drop off the uh, front loader here. Uh, I'm going to go load up the uh, tanker, and uh, we're going to check out uh, how much milk we have, and maybe we'll run that down here before lunch yet and see what it's like to sell milk. Uh, just noticing here, too, we got a little bit of landscaping done. 
on the farm here. So you can see right out front of the building here, we got, I don't know what we got here, some dirt, grass, pebbles, something or other down in there. Help clean that up. And then I think at the front entrance there, we got uh, gravel put down. Let me take a look at that here real quick. Yeah, I got some gravel down here too. So um, got a little work done here this morning here by the family and uh, a little gravel in the back here also. So still really long grass, but um, we'll get to that. We'll get that out of the way. We'll get that cleaned up. It's a little, a little ratty yet. I think what we'll do... Yeah, you know what? Before we hook up to our nice clean shiny milk con container, let's run up here real quick and just... Uh, blast this tractor with the pressure washer there's no point in going to a new place and trying to make some money when you have a dirty tractor so look at the new holland all cleaned up and then we will go make some money so eighty nine hundred dollars we did do a job a fertilizing job there that was pay that was a good one paid out pretty well and um uh, so that gave us a little extra money here. So we do have a few items that we are still leasing too. So overnight that does uh, make a bit of a difference to us. And uh, on our costs. So I still do need to get a, uh, this afternoon I guess I'm going to get a bucket. And we will clean up after the cows so we can get back to 100%. So that was pretty quick though. It's going to be a, maybe a, a couple times a day chore I have a feeling. Um, I guess while we're in here, let's take a look here. We their manure pile. I don't know how much this exactly holds, but uh, it looks like it's going to hold a lot more than what's in there, so that's a bonus. So, still some straw in the, down here. Looks like it's starting to dry up a little bit here after the rain, but, uh, but it seems pretty wet, so we'll we'll see. All right, so we have an empty, empty container now. Let's uh. We have 4,600. Yeah, let's let's go for it. I'm maybe a little overexcited, uh, over a little overzealous here. I could could wait to closer to the end of the end of the day, and I think we'd have uh, have more milk yet to sell. But I'm gonna go right now, run this out to the dairy, and we can uh, check and see what our uh, income will be off that. I think it was 1,300 dollars when we looked at it for price wise. So we'll head up out here. Beacons going. All right, so just down here is where the dairy is, uh, right in this fenced area. Um, I haven't been here before, so let's gonna try this out. And hopefully, all is good. So, looks like this is where we want to sell our milk. Let's see how we do. That's an unknown uh, thing, so I think if we can make this work. So $6,000, just over 6,000 pounds here. So if we can, uh, our daily, I have a feeling, if we let go a little later in the day, with the full 24 hours or whatever, um, we'll have even more. So we got a few other things back in here. This is, um, like I was saying earlier, the BGA. Uh, this is our, our future um, investment right here. Uh, this is where we can make a little extra cash um, coming up here, and this is where we're going to want to bring all our silage and for it to uh, sell off or turn into digestate. So we're going to enjoy that. Um, I'm not sure if this right here is a spot for anything, but uh, maybe that's water potentially. I'm not too sure, but uh, that's all right. So, oh, yeah, that's just beside the. Uh, the animal store too, so be handy being able to run between the two a little bit. All right, so we'll get back on the road here. I guess I should turn my beacons back on. Go cab view, and we'll get back to the farm. Since we're hooked up, I might uh, still like a little bit of time yet too. So we'll rip maybe down to the river, uh, to the creek or whatever there, and grab uh, another load of water and bring it up.
So just take a look at our uh, where we're sitting with our Ayrshire here. So we got you know, we got the water now into the green. Straws halfway, we're good there. Uh, even with all that extra hay, we're still in the red with all that. So um, you know, definitely have to keep that. We might even have to toss the silage I have stored up uh, in there if we need to. But grass, uh, I think we're good there for a bit. That'll keep us rolling. So just the cleanliness I need to get going. Again, that's just buying a bucket, um, which won't be a big deal. Or, uh, we have the money now for that. So I'm going to leave this uh, tank here. I think it's, it's, it's fine where it is um, at the moment anyway. Uh, the straw, we'll probably move that since that's got some you know, mechanical parts and so on with it. Probably should be in a shed. So I think that's the other thing too, is I really need to, to get the money together for a shed. So uh, even if it's a temporary shed that can be taken down later on when we when, we're, when we leave and move the mobile home and all that stuff out of here, it's just a matter that uh, uh, we need to have a place uh, to clean up our yard and keep a few things under cover. So, but right now, uh, just look in there, between the long grass and the equipment all over the place, we got quite a mess going on. Um, I can also get a, uh, there was a package also to bring in a shed for bales. Um, so it'd be also really nice to have a bale shed um, and keep those under under wraps, under cover. So that is, uh, that's a lot of things we need. We need to work towards uh, along with also wanting to be able to buy a, um, you know, another field, whether it be a grass field or a arable field. So, but I'm going to go, uh, head out uh, with the family here and, and grab some lunch uh, probably head to the store also and uh, look at buying a bucket for this uh, for a front loader here and uh, this afternoon we can carry on so we'll clean up the cattle and uh, if we have nothing to do around the yard here uh, maybe if we don't look after this grass right away we will uh, look for some jobs that we can do and, and make a little cash with so but I'm going to Get after that. See you in, uh, see you after lunch. So welcome back here after lunch. Um, just looking at uh, some uh, shed packages actually. Came up to the store. Uh, we just wanted to check it out this uh, shed packages that they offer. Um, and I'm kind of leaning towards uh, this small shelter right here. Uh, I like the price of this one. Uh, it's the size for the equipment we have, I think the size will be great. And it also looks like it, it'll be a good, um, potentially temporary to style uh, or easily to remove when we're when we're done in this location. We can always get rid of it if need be, if they don't want it here anymore on, on this land. So I think this is the shed package we're going to order up. Uh, we'll probably order up a couple of these. Um, I think I'm going to go with two uh, to start out with. And then we'll have a little bit of uh, yard work, groundwork to do probably throw some gravel down or underneath it and that'll also help up with our crazy grass situation. Um, I'm also going to get into some fences too so I'm going to get in uh, order to the small fence package and we will uh, do some fencing just fence off the backyard a little bit behind. Again nothing too uh, serious or permanent but something that'll keep uh, allow the kid and and uh, maybe if the wife gets her way a dog to to um play out in the backyard without having to worry about the machinery and so on, driving around. You kind of got a, a little main road, uh, the country trail road out there um, where we are, so by our place. So we'll get back out um, there. I think we're going to pick up a job, actually. Uh, I found, did see there's a good fertilizer job. Um, again, back to field number one. That uh, seems to be the best paying one. So we're going to go over and uh, grab this one here for, it's about 10000 Again, we don't own a fertilizer thing yet, um, and I don't quite think it's quite worth owning one yet. I think we're still better off with the uh, leasing or, or borrowing when we do these jobs. Uh, we do have to keep buying um, a little bit of fertilizer, but I think that's okay uh, at the moment. So I'm going to borrow this. Um, again, we don't get to use our own tractor. Oops. Don't want to do that, but uh, it's okay. Uh, this will come with the proper wheels, proper everything uh, to do the job. So I'm going to get this all set up, filled up with fertilizer, and head off to field one, and then we can 
to get this job done. Well, just finished up the fertilizing job on field one, uh, heading the tractor and the fertilizer uh, cart back up to the store here so we can unload our fertilizer that we own. Um, kind of want to keep track of that. I wish we could use this uh, lease or this borrowed equipment to fertilize our own land. That way we wouldn't have to worry about buying or leasing any of our own stuff. But uh, unfortunately, I don't think we're allowed to do that. So even though we own the fertilizer, we don't have a means to, um, at the moment anyway, to fertilize our, our grass, but that's fine. We're going to uh, shut this down, hop out, and let's collect it. So um, just about $9,000 minus uh, buying, I did buy one bag of fertilizer, which I think was, what was that, 3200 roughly or so. So uh, we came out a little bit ahead there for sure. Definitely not a problem there. That'll pay for both our uh, our sheds there and probably even most of our gates. Uh, along with the money we have, we should be all right with the landscaping. Um, there are other jobs I could look at. Uh, I'm not excited about these. I uh, After doing the last baling job, it was kind of um, not my favorite thing to do. Although we can use our own equipment because uh, we do have the equipment to do it. Um, uh, but it's a lot of work, a lot of time for not a pile of pay compared to fertilizing or uh, harvesting. So, But um, another thing uh, we did talk about also with the, well, I was at lunch there and in the store uh, before I got back on the camera here was uh, uh, that BGA, uh, our biogas plant that we have over here. Um, it sounds like we're going to be uh, a third party investor in this uh, this little project here and uh, opportunity and we're looking at our cost to get involved here is going to be about 11,760 pounds so not too crazy to be honest I think we'll be able to make that money back relatively quickly uh, once we get start building up our silage stores and, and we can need another grass field pretty desperately uh, which I think there are a few around that aren't too crazy amount but um, hopefully once our our milk gets rolling, we'll be able to uh, to make that money up. But, I mean, between the milk and, and the silage in the, with the biogas, we should be able to start uh, making some good cash and, and start buying up these some of these fields local here that are close by, and we can really start uh, progressing um, the expansion of our, our little uh, endeavor over here. So um, there are other opportunities to make uh, daily cash, but... Uh, I think for right now, that's what we'll focus on. And we'll see what else comes up as we go. So we do have one thing, a liquid fertilizer, and it uh, looks like a bag and probably a little bit in the other one of, uh, of the dry fertilizer. So, But I do want to get in here. Um, I mean, this is our little area here. I, I like to fence off straight back from the mobile home. And uh, I think we're going to put our sheds actually over on this side which probably seems weird, but um, they'll be out of the way. So I'd like to put two machine sheds, those those ones I ordered that we packed up. They're going to be one here, one there. Uh, they're not super big, but I mean our equipment is not super big either at the moment. 
with what we're doing. So I think, and then I'll keep it close to the house and close to, uh, I mean, where we're working. So you just can't go wrong with that. Um, and then at some point, maybe I can look at getting a, uh, a shed for bales and we'll get these bales under, under our roof. Um, right now I'm not keeping a huge amount of stock of them, so I'm not as worried about keeping those under, under a roof right now. And these ones are wrapped, so they're, they're likely okay the where they are, um, you know, minus maybe a couple holes from a bale fork, which I'll have to get maybe a proper, um, attachment for the wrapped bales, but, uh, yeah, we got our, our trailer over here. It's just kind of in the way and, uh, you know, why not? It's fine. So, um, looking at this, I mean, I don't know, we could get more out of this field potentially if, if we could fertilize it and possibly, uh, throw some lime on there. But, um, I mean, for now it's, it's going to work. I think we're doing all right. We do need another growth. I mean, we have, we have nothing left here besides the silage bales and a few grass bales for our cattle, but again, they're good for, they're good for a couple of days. So based off what they are. So we got, uh, sold the milk and uh, hopefully, um, we'll be able to invest in that BGA here pretty quick. And, uh, once our, once our little farmyard's a little bit more better in shape, I think I'm all going to put the rest of the money towards getting into that BGA, focus on some silage money, and uh, see if we can sell anything else there. I, don't, I was thinking maybe possibly they'll let us sell manure there. I'm not too sure, but um, I know what we need to do right now is back up to the store. Oh, yeah, I picked up um, the bucket, so we do have that already, but we need to get in here, and we do need to get uh, cleaned up uh, the cattle area because our cleanliness is, is definitely low, so we'll get that cleaned up here right now. Well, it's on my mind, so I don't forget about it again. Again, we got our static cows. Let's see how I can do with their going to go negative and bring her down. Probably good there. Let's see. I haven't done the loose stuff, so we'll see if this works. Oh, definitely made a bit of a mess there, but I think overall that worked all right. Clean that up a little. Let's see if we can get the rest of that back in here. Playing, playing bumper cars with the cattle. All right, so I think that's working. So we'll take the bucket back up there. Probably not going to need that for another day or so. Let's take a look at our, our information here. So cleanliness, that should uh, adjust here pretty quick. Straw, I mean, everything's good. We do have the silage bells um, if needed here, but I'm not too worried. We've got it quite a bit. We'll see where it's at tomorrow. If we need to give them more tomorrow, we, we definitely will. Um, we won't rush to sell the, what we have, and we've got to keep these guys going. So we're not going to rush to sell what we have uh, there, but... Uh, again, we need money for that, so uh, for the total mixed ration. But, I mean, we got all this. We don't really need the total mixed ration as long as we have the grass and the, and the hay or silage. So we, we will get 100% productivity out of them. That way, once our cleanliness gets back up there, we should anyway. Um, so, I mean, we don't need to spend the money on the mixer um, right now. So maybe we'll hold off on that for now. So let's go uh, up here. I know the sheds were on the way. I'd like to get that project uh, worked on today, but today that might be how I, I finish off my day today is uh, setting up some sheds and, and getting going here. Now that we have the bucket, actually, we can uh, we can actually get some groundwork done uh, for where the sheds are going to go, and we got to move some of this equipment out of the way. So I think that's uh, probably job number one is move this equipment out of the way. And then uh, we'll get going on pulling up some ground here and bringing in some, uh, the gravel, getting some gravel. So, and then we'll be able to put this all neatly away. Maybe I'll get everything moved out of the way also for uh, uh, mowing whatever's grass is left. 
definitely have to mow that down. So that's there. I'm just kind of make some room. Another expense is, uh, that we probably don't need is that truck. Uh, I could probably sell that truck or uh, send it back. I think we're leasing the truck here. Uh, got that renting, renting the truck even from when uh, the wife and kid came in. So that's not gonna work. Okay. Crashing everything now. I'm not used to driving with the bucket on the front now. But we can get rid of that truck probably. I don't think we're using it as much as uh, we were at the beginning. So that would save us uh, some daily fees also. Let's get this out of here. Um, and then as we gain our, some money, I think, I mean, a lot of the times leasing some of this equipment is not not really costing us a whole lot. We're not putting a lot of hours on any of this equipment. Uh, we use it, and we've got such a small field that um, it's not like a crazy amount of use that it's getting, so it doesn't take us long. But I mean, as we expand, it'll get more use, and it maybe at some point it's going to make more sense to the purchase and then try and resell and get the value out of it later. But I'm gonna put the truck. Uh, put the truck up here for now. Perfect. So use the tractor and uh, get a little groundwork done. That's where we are. Perfect. So let me get after this here and I'll be back in a minute. All right, well, I think I'm just getting this all leveled out here. Uh, it looks pretty good as far as uh, removing the grass is going. And uh, I'm just gonna put a, we'll put a little gravel in there, fill it in, maybe a little nicer just to keep the mud down. Uh, here pretty quick, but once we get some gravel brought in, so, so this is gonna be a little area, a couple of sheds go in here, and uh, that'll uh, that'll help tidy up the yard also for sure. So we got uh, not a bad little space. I mean, they're pretty small sheds. I think they'll fit in here just kind of nice and kind of keep things tidy. Um, kind of move things up here. We got, I mean, we got all this grass. It's just not. Uh, not do me any good back here, just a tight little spot um, to get the mower in even and so on. So, uh, and then, I mean, one thing to mow up, but then I got to try and get it all picked up. So let's, uh, I'm going to rip up to the store here and uh, wait on that shed package. And then uh, I think the guys are going to come down and help me out and we're going to get things set up here with the sheds. So um I'll be back here. We'll show you the finished product. Hopefully we'll get them set up here by before the day is over. So I'll be right back. All right, so we've got the shed set up. I uh, had to do a little bit more groundwork and so on around uh, the sheds and get things kind of leveled out. But we uh, uh, were able to get them put up here uh, by end of the day. And uh, so I started putting a few of the uh, our tools um, away also some of our equipment's put away I think I mean we'll have to adjust and maybe things won't go in these particular places or whatever but um, I think for now this is uh, uh, this will work it, we're we're a step ahead we're moving forward uh, we're expanding we're growing um, and things are good that way so we've got sixteen thousand dollars in the bank uh, tomorrow we'll have more milk to sell we'll do probably another sell of that as long as I mean the price stays stays what it is if it drops a lot maybe we'll We'll wait a day or something like that, put it off. But um, we do have that income. So uh, with this here now, uh, I think what I'll do, uh, we'll plan on next or uh, as far as yard upgrades go is, is fencing and a little bit of fencing in the back. And uh, we still have all this long grass to deal with here too. So always lots of work around uh, this little area uh, of the homestead. But, um, you know, that's all good. It's part of the fun. So hopefully we'll have more grass to get mowed, uh, keep our cattle uh, fed. Uh, we'll look to do some projects maybe and, and make some extra money to, to so we can get invested in that BGA and we can start making extra silage money that way. 
and uh, we'll just kind of carry on uh, going. So hopefully uh, we'll we'll have enough here soon enough to uh, expand and buy some more fields. So we're definitely, with that BGA purchase, we're definitely going to need another grass field, full field, since we kind of used up half of this one for the pasture. So, But that's enough for today. Um, not a bad little project done. So we're good to go, and lots accomplished today, and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow.